The thing which I remember really clearly, and it's guided my work in philanthropy ever since, is Sir John saying, well, really your job is just to get out there in the community and find out how we can help. And I think that simple advice uh, is actually the key to good philanthropy. The vision of the Todd Foundation is an inclusive Aotearoa New Zealand where children, young people and families can thrive and contribute. And the way in which we uh, make progress on that is through our community partners. Because if you think about it, the only way that that vision will be realised or achieved is through community. You know, we've realised that community is actually a partner rather than just a grantee recipient. Because our society is changing, we need to be able to change. We need to be able to be flexible. We need to be able to work with them in different ways. We can't just do the same. We have to be able to ensure that we anticipate and hear what they need. Our approach to funding is based on 50 years of listening to community. And we've taken the best parts of that over the years and brought that into how we do funding now in 2022. Originally the uh, applicants applied. We had up to 400 applicants applying for funding. We were actually declining 85% of the applications that we received. And that was simply because we were receiving so many applications for the pool of funds that we had. We learnt back about 10 years ago that um, under the leadership of Kate Frickberg uh, that let's just try what we call partnership funding. All of our grants are one-year grants in the past. I believe that they're all multi-year or mostly multi-year now. Uh, and that makes a lot of sense, you know, you can't change the world in a year. It, it was probably one of the better things I think the Foundation has done. The Scattergun approach back in the, in the, in the 70s, when, 1972 when the Foundation started, um, was appropriate in those days. But, I mean, there's a lot of need out in the community today. And I think the way the Foundation works now is completely different from when I started. Yeah, what I see is an organisation that is growing and learning and changing and getting better and better. With our new strategy in 2018, we take more of a proactive funding approach. And what this means is we're not going to waste community's time um, spending all that time applying to the foundation. We're going to spend more of our time being proactive, getting out into community, understanding some of the key challenges and seeing how our resources can, can best assist communities to, to achieve the change they're trying to see. It really felt like working with a partner, a partner who was curious about the complexity of youth to employment. They really wanted to understand what would work and knew it was a complex, complex challenge. So the Todd Foundation really affied us to try things and discover what would work better to solve this really, really complex issue. I'm personally really proud of how we have given and the way that it has worked with our contribution to Toy EDA. Having a key person in a community and watching how they have managed to be able to get a whole community to work together is so inspiring. And I think that Barbara in particular has done an amazing job of that. One of my favorite stories happened in Christchurch a few years ago. I was attending the Social Enterprise World Forum with about 1,500 people in the room. And when the uh, main session finished and I was walking out of the auditorium, this young woman screamed my name and literally climbed about three rows of seats to get to me. When she got to me, she said, Terry, do you remember me? I'm Sophia. I did Young Enterprise back in 2010. And I just want to let you know, it changed my life. The opportunity that we got from Todd Foundation was massive for us. Um, they sort of, instead of funding um, criteria, they just said, we'll fund what you do already and allow us to grow from there. Often, uh, government might look at a, a problem and say, we're going to go and fix it, rather, and have no conversation uh, with that community or with the organisation. Whereas Todd Foundation, we do that. 
So tonight we're here to celebrate the graduation of our current students from the Licence to Work program and we have about 30 young people who have all completed work experience for 10 weeks and they've done amazingly well, over 50% of them have gone into employment from the course tonight. One of my favourite initiatives in the entire uh, funding system at the moment, and for several years actually, is the Driving Change Initiative. Meeting and hearing from Tanya Poynton, the uh, leader of the Driving Change Network, hearing her speak about the importance and the depth of the relationship that the network has with the Todd Foundation and the work that they've done collectively on improving lives for young Kiwis is fabulous. The Driving Change Network is effectively a community-led movement that is creating systems change in Aotearoa in the driver licensing space. Because driver licensing has been viewed as an individual good rather than a public good, there hasn't been strategic funding. So the Todd Foundation, alongside Vodafone and J.R. McKenzie, sparked that initiative to improve the driver licensing system, and they've stayed with it. So they've funded it, it's turned into this amazing cross-sector collaboration that's made a, a positive difference in the lives of individuals, and through their positive advocacy, they've actually achieved system change at the government level. So um, the Todd Foundation, for me, that's just an example of how they um, quietly and impressively lead from behind a community-led approach which has significant change. One key thing I've learned over my time at the Foundation is you know there's a time to lead and then there's a time to, to listen and follow and I think getting that right in the different contexts that we operate in is, is really important. People are asking us as to how we work with this current strategy, how we've how the communities that we work with have been so successful because they, the change is happening. Seamus and Rebecca's leadership of the Todd Foundation, the, the contemporary leadership of the Todd Foundation is so right for today. I think they're doing an awesome job in really pushing the boundaries of philanthropy and I really just want to congratulate them for that work actually because I think it's awesome. It's an absolute privilege to um, represent the Andrew Todd branch on the Todd Foundation. Um, it's a privilege to work with um, other outstanding trustees, family trustees, independent trustees. Also to work with wonderful staff over the 12 years I've been a trustee. The real privilege is to be out in the community meeting amazing people doing amazing work for little thanks and little money sometimes. But they are the people that have an impact on our society going forward. What I've enjoyed the most is actually receiving the board papers and getting a real warmth in my heart from what I'm reading. They are very uplifting in that the stories that are within those packs are incredible. To see and feel the difference we're making for people's lives individually, and not only individually but for whole communities, is amazing. I love giving money away. I love helping the Foundation spend its money. I, I, I get joy out of it. Um, particularly in reading about the amazing things that community groups are doing uh, and the results. You know, some of those results are just small shifts, um, stats might change, others are, are huge impacts. Tēnā tātou, on behalf of the two-year kaupapa, we wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for your tremendous support over these years. Thank you for supporting our kaupapa in a truly enabling way. A high trust approach helps us to build sustainability, sustainability in our kaupapa. Tuia i runga, tuia i raro, tuia i roto, tuia i waho, tuia i te here tāngata. Tihei! Mauriora! It has been fantastic having the support uh, to help develop our capacity and capability to be able to increase the well-being of our whānau here um, and the whenua. Uh, so kei roto tēnā, kā nui te mihi aroha uh, ki a koutou. Uh, keep up the fantastic work and uh, a huge acknowledgement to the kaimahi at the Todd Foundation. Um, you guys do a fantastic job. Uh, so thank you very much from the depths of our hearts um, for supporting us and other similar organisations around the motu. Kanu te aroha. 
Hey, we want to send a big shout out to our friends at the Todd Foundation for the love and generosity that you've shown us over the last few years. It's enabled us to stand up some remarkable things here at Taikie Impact House, building capability around rangatahi entrepreneurship, reducing food waste in our community, and we're only just getting started. I'd like to me too, Sir John, and those that had the foresight to create the foundation. You know, 50 years ago, I mean, how many families were doing that? These 50 years are something we can be seriously proud of. We've given back to New Zealand. We've tried to make New Zealand a better place for all. We've tried to ensure that we've shared what we have, not just money, but we've shared our time, we've shared our knowledge, we've shared our love with the New Zealand society we live in. I think it's awesome that the Todd Foundation has reached a key milestone of 50 years and, and the legacy that comes with that. Um, I also think it's, it's impressive to have contributed $100 million to communities in Aotearoa New Zealand. And I'm really uh, excited to see where the next 50 years of the Todd Foundation will go to from here.